Down to the last couple seconds on Matt A. And holding on to that three to zero lead from Japan, your winner, Risako Kawaii. Sur le tapis A, la japonaise qui remporte ce match, Risako Kawaii, elle avancera donc au demi quart de finale. Up next on Matt A. He's last year's world silver medalist from Mongolia, Agonsetse Davasu, and from Poland, Roxana Sassina. Prochain match sur le tapia de la Mongolie, Agonsetse Davakush, contre la Polonaise, Roxana Zazina. Ici, on a match final. We have a final result on Matt C. Ukraine, Ukraine taking the win, Ukrainian qui remporte ce match. S'agit de Alina Stanik. So Alina Stanik wins on Matt C. Moving on now in the 67 kilogram weight class, wrestling from Azerbaijan is Nadia Samantsova, and wrestling from Sweden is Hena Johansson. Sur le tapis C, prochain match de Azerbaijan, Nadia Samantsova contre la suédoise Hena Johansson. <laughs> Still scoreless with 15 seconds remaining on Matt B between Melnikova from Russia and Budakevich from Great Britain. If there is no score, we won't go to clinch. But just as I said, it first point goes to Melnikova from Russia. Alors dans les tout derniers instants, la Russe ici qui marque un point pour remporter la première manche. Évidemment, c'est un 2 de 3, donc il lui reste encore une manche à remporter pour remporter le match. We have three full days of competition here. We're featuring three weight classes today and two weight classes on each of tomorrow and the next day. So come on back and check out the action every single day. Canada is represented in every single weight class. Donc un rappel que ces compétitions durent trois jours, aujourd'hui, vendredi et samedi. Il y aura sept catégories de poids au total. Aujourd'hui, on verra trois catégories de poids. Et puis demain on, a, demain, on en aura deux. Et samedi, on conclut avec une autre deux catégories. Bag Ionis, please report to the head table. Bag Ionis, please report to the head table. 20 seconds remain on Matt A. The match between Otgontesai Davasuk from Mongolia and Roxana Sassina is still scoreless. Now nine seconds remain. We may have our first clinch on Matt A. So it's now uh, the time is not terminé sur le tapia, so we will have a clinch. On aura un clinch sur le tapia. The procedure for a clinch is one of the wrestler picks a ball out of a hat and uh, the color that comes out will have the advantage over a competitor. Donc, uh, la couleur qui est sélectionnée lors du tirage au sort uh, uh, sera avantageuse contre l'autre compétitrice pour uh, déterminer le vainqueur de ce match. Donc, 30 seconds to score, 30 seconds pour marquer un point, sinon le point va à l'équipe défendrice. And a clean start, so we will have the Mongolian wrestler Davasuk trying to score here. The onus is on her, she must score in 30 seconds. All Sassina has to do is hold on. Now 10 seconds remaining in this overtime period. On joue à la défense. We're playing defensive right now because you gotta be defensive to keep that point. If red does not score, blue wins. And, and, voilà blue. and uh, here we go, blue scores. Uh, le, le bleu remporte ce match pour uh, avoir défendu avec brillance uh, ce clinch. So the world silver medalist from Mongolia will have to come back and win the second period to force a tie-breaking round. Yeah. 
Cette semaine, sur, euh, euh, sur le tapis ici, il remporte euh, la première euh, ronde. Sebastian, please report to Matt C. Sebastian. On Matt B, the match between Budkiewicz and Melnikova is one round of these. Melnikova from Russia winning the first round, Budkiewicz winning the second. And she was the last to score. You saw that it ended as a 2-2 draw, but it is point classification first and then the last wrestler to score. Donc sur le tapis B, évidemment, on, rentre, on arrive dans un troisième match, un match décisif. Le gagnant de ce match-ci remportera euh, ce, la, le combat. Well, she needed to win the second period and off to a great start on Matt A. On Sensitive Tavasuk from Mongolia, the world silver medalist from last year, leads 3 0, but she does need to win this round to force a tiebreaker. First point goes to Bukiewicz on Matt B. Sur le tapis, la Mongolaise qui répond ici à l'attaque de la Polonaise. Elle marque trois points pour rester en vie. Donc elle se doit de remporter ce match. Elle qui est médaillée d'argent au championnat du monde de 2011. <rire> Nice counter there by Budkiewicz, stopping the leg attack of Melnikova on Matt B, but Melnikova stopping the attack herself at scoring point. She now has the advantage. You see, she was the last wrestler to score. It is one to one on Matt B, but once again, Melnikova with the advantage. Absolutely, Jeremy. The Russian uh, wrestler is now in full control of this match. All she needs to do is play safe, uh, play defensive, and she will win this round. Donc la Russe qui euh, a l'avantage marqué sur ce match, elle se doit de demeurer calme et de défendre les attaques. And we're going to have a clinch on Matt C. Semensova and Johansson. So Semensova will get the choice of the balls. Donc un clinch sur le Matt C. Des couleurs red, rouge. So Semensova will get to take a single leg position with her head to the outside. She then has 30 seconds in which to score. This is on Matt C. And we have a winner on Matt B with a two to one final score. Your winner from Great Britain is Budkiewicz. Donc sur le tapis B, la gagnante de la Grande-Bretagne, Budkiewicz, qui remporte cette première ronde. And Semensova will score a single point in the clinch, and she